Good morning, GMS. I'm Annika Schaefer. And I'm Anna Ball. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 15, 2021. Students, the Student Council is collecting items for the Afghan refugees through this Tuesday, November 16th. Each grade will collect different items. Sixth graders bring new winter socks, seventh grade brings new gloves or mittens, and eighth grade brings new winter hats. Remember that these are for all ages and sizes. Students, remember to follow the school dress code dur both during school and after school events. Thank you for your cooperation. If you ride a bus, you must wear a mask over your mouth and nose. Please make sure you have your mask ready before you get on the bus. Thankful for teachers helps give to a Greenwood Community School staff member who has been an inspiration. We've all had that special person who has made an impact on, in our lives. It can be a teacher, nurse, cafeteria worker, classroom assistant, custodian, etc. Visit thankful2021.givesmart.com or text thankful2021 to 76278. Write your note of appreciation to any Greenwood staff member of your choice and see what other surprises are available for purchase. Follow the Greenwood Education Facebook page to watch the fun unfold. Parents, holiday assistant applications are available and must be turned in to Ms. Badger by November 17th. Now, let's go to the interview of the week, sports update, and top trending. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Marin Zaborowski here with 7th grade social studies teacher, Mrs. Case. How are you doing today? I'm good, Marin. How are you? Good. Good. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Mrs. Case. I started working here at GMS last year. Uh, so this is my second year here, uh, my second and a half year teaching. I worked at a high school for a little while. Um, I've been in Greenwood my whole life, and I'm really happy to be part of the GMS community. Nice. Where's your favorite place to visit and why? Um, when I was thinking about this question, I don't have a favorite place that I go to all the time, but the favorite place I have been um, would be San Juan, Puerto Rico. We went last year on fall break, and it was super fun. We got to try lots of new food, and um, I like to go out and experience new cultures, so it was really good. Interesting. What do you think about teaching so far? So far, my experience with teaching has only been pandemic. I just had a little bit pre-pandemic, so it's been a little bit crazy, um, and we've been navigating the hardest portion of teaching probably ever, but it's been good and we just figure out the challenges as we go. Nice. What is your favorite social studies topic? I think I do like the ancient civilizations that if you're in seventh grade we've been spending time on. Um, I like to see how things have progressed throughout history and all of the um, like amazing inventions that started in ancient times that we're still using today. Um, and I like the weird and the wacky stuff too, the Marco Polos, the Hammurabis, the people who are kind of crazy who you have to figure out if they were good or not, telling the truth or not. So uh, some of the weird stories I like. They're kind of cool. What did, why did you want to be a teacher? I wanted to be a teacher because um, when I was in college, I was struggling to figure out what I wanted to do. It took me some time to make a plan and figure out what I liked. Um, and when I discovered that, okay, it's history that I really like, there are a few different paths you could go down with that. And I wasn't going to be um, probably a researcher or an author. And so I thought, okay, I can teach. And I already had some background as a training director at Chick-fil-A. So I had done some teaching and training before. And um, once I started that program, it just fit. And I've been happy that I chose that ever since. Nice. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Case. Have a great week. Thank you. You too. Hi, I'm Josie Fiesel. Welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and tre trending stories of the week. Let's get started with number one. According to Doggo News, there was a ruptured undersea oil pipeline off the coast. This hump happened at Huntington Beach, CA. The pipeline has leaked thousands of gallons of oil. Did you know the strong ocean current has carried down the coastline of San Diego, CA? Because of this, Oil Wildlife Care Network is scouring the beaches looking for animals covered in oil. Number two, according to Doggo News, there would be the world's first space hotel in the very near future. They are hoping to welcome visitors in 2027. The hotel is a 650 feet wide Ferris wheel like Voyager space stations. They are saying that the inner circle of the hotel will be fitted with spacecraft docking for guests. 
The outer ring will be house the rooms, restaurants, bars, gyms, and scientific research labs. Number three, as reporter of Dog News, there is a mega gourd pumpkin. This mega pumpkin weighed over 2,191 2 pounds. This pumpkin was so big, it won the Super Bowl of weight offs. When you win the Super Bowl of weight offs, you get at the maximum of $30,000. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, everybody. I'm Jenna Nolan, and welcome, welcome to Sports for this week. On Monday, November 15th, 6th grade girls basketball at Beach Grove Middle School, 5 p.m. On Tuesday, November 16th, 6th grade girls basketball at Shelbyville Middle School, 5 p.m. On Wednesday, November 17th, 17th, 7th grade girl boys basketball at Indian Creek Middle School, 5.30 p.m. At seventh grade, or er, on Thursday, November 18th, seventh grade boys basketball at Center Grove Middle School, uh, North, 5 p.m. On also on Thursday, sixth grade girls basketball at home versus Franklin Community Community, 5 p.m. That's all for sports this week. Have a good week.